Marketing your products and services on social media can lead to more engagement, but there's an art to designing posts. Now you might be tempted to just drag everything into a layout and start creating, but you can't start creating until you know what you're creating for. Ask yourself, is this post meant to fit in a square on Instagram? Or maybe fit a vertical aspect ratio for posting on Pinterest? Or something else? Whatever you're building, you're gonna start by creating an area to work in called an artboard. An artboard is an area on a larger canvas and it can serve a lot of purposes. For example, you can use artboards to define the size of a poster you're making. Or use artboards to test out versions of a logo. Say we wanna make a complete social media campaign. Now you can make all those assets like the social ad in this tutorial on different artboards in the same document. That way you can visualize the entire campaign at once. Sometimes you know the exact size of the artboard you need, but projects change. So what happens when your project needs to become a square Instagram post? You can customize the size of an artboard using the artboard tool. Or in the properties panel, you can also make a square design by typing in the values. With the correct size artboard ready to go, you can start adding content to it. Depending on your project, you might already have artwork ready to use. And you can drag directly from the canvas onto the artboard. You can also drag content in from your computer or you can import a graphic or image by choosing File Place. For this ad, you might only want to use a part of the image. Illustrator lets you crop images with a click using the Crop Image button in the Properties panel. You can drag to remove parts of the image. Now we know text will go here and it'll probably be hard to read over the image. We can add a rectangle shape. Doing this now allows us to focus on adding design elements to visualize where things will go in the layout first. With the main layout finished, you can lock it in place. In the next tutorial, we'll add some text and we don't wanna accidentally move the background content. All right, let's recap. To get your social ad off to a great start, make your design the same size as the final size you need. Everything you do later, like cropping your art to fit and adding design elements, will be perfectly sized and ready for the next stages of design like adding text, color, and more. Now it's your turn. Start this tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions to create your very own ad.